what I want to talk to you a bit about is why tax matters for women and matters for gender equality. Um, in this country, because of the dominance of this area, we have a tax system in which one government after another, almost whatever their um, political inclinations, has had to look to what are the effects on the City of London of what they do. And so they have been effectively more interested in the reproduction of financial capital than in the reproduction of people. And the reproduction of people, social reproduction of people, is exactly what women spend their time doing. Okay, we're involved in caring activities, we're involved in all those sort of things that keep life going on. And for us, therefore, the contributions of the state make a huge difference. Finance capital isn't interested in the social reproduction of people. It doesn't make its money directly from people in the way that industrial capital does. And therefore, how things are run in this, in this place, in the centre of financial capital, is really important, not only for women in this country, but also for all those other countries which can't have a tax system that can fund public services if it can't raise the money. Brexit can probably only make that worse. Um, it's going to make it worse definitely in one respect, in the, se in the sense that European regulations have benefited women greatly in this country. Brexit will be, a, be a, an opportunity for deregulating finance and once a, a big powerful place like the City of London does it, it's very difficult for other places not to do that. Brexit will mean a lot of people losing their jobs, having to find new work, having to change how they do things. And it's partly in the nature of women's lives that making those changes is more difficult for women.